Thank you. I give the floor to the Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. The Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative expresses concerns about the deterioration of human rights in some Commonwealth countries and would like to bring to the Council's attention the trend of legislative measures being used to suppress free expression and further clamp civic space. The Tanzanian Parliament recently passed the written law Miscellaneous Amendments Act, making amendments to eight laws and imposing sweeping limitations on the rights to freedom of expression, peaceful assembly and association. With the amendments to the NGO Act, the Registrar has wide discretionary powers to suspend or deregister NGOs and to monitor and evaluate their performance in the absence of clear guidelines. There was lack of consultation on the law as civil society was not given sufficient time to scrutinize and review the bill. Freedom of expression and religion remain an endemic problem in Bangladesh. Laws such as the Digital Security Act have been used to restrict freedom of expression. It serves as the de facto blasphemy law criminalizing anyone who hurts or may hurt religious beliefs and has been used to target religious minorities, journalists, atheist activists and bloggers. In Cameroon, the Anglophone crisis has continued to escalate with about half a million of people having fled their homes in fear of violence. They remain internally displaced. Armed separatist groups demanding independence have inflicted violence on perceived opponents while the government has also responded with increasing violence, detaining and torturing the alleged separatists. We remain concerned by challenges to civic and religious freedom in India and reports of communally motivated and targeted violence. We are also concerned about the ongoing controversial National Register of Citizens in the state of Assam. We call on the Council to take urgent notice of these situations and urge the governments to make robust efforts to safeguard democratic and civic space. Thank you, Mr. Vice President.